last night. Breaking news tonight as there's a fatal shooting at the Duet Bar in Portland, Maine. Four people are injured and two people are missing as the killer is still on the loose. There's a manhunt being formed right now to find who's responsible for this terrible tragedy. Two of the security guards outside were both shot in the abdomen and are receiving treatment at a local hospital. Bartender Lucas Green has been missing since midnight and is considered a suspect in the case. Anyone with information should contact local law enforcement immediately to find out who did this gruesome tragedy. My name is John Fowley. I'm an American artist living in Maine. Welcome to my own personal art museum. Here you will find various styles ranging from simple images to abstract concepts. I'm not really the kind of person that has a lot of visitors, but um, I do enjoy flattering myself by hanging up all my original works on my wall. It's kind of like uh, hanging up your report card on your own refrigerator. It's a pride thing. So, uh, what kind of art do I dabble in? Well, that really depends on my agent, Mr. Fletcher. He has me doing something different every week or so. He's been my agent since I graduated from art school. I met him three months ago. My buddy Brian introduced me to him. And the cool thing about him is that no matter how much I hate my work, he, he still accepts it gratefully, with open arms. <laughs> I don't really know why. I, I guess there isn't much talent around here. I always work in the morning, it's, uh, it's always so peaceful since there aren't many cars passing through the street at this hour. It helps me brainstorm. I typically stay home, draw, and paint. Not necessarily a very glamorous lifestyle, but um, going out every day is somewhat excessive for a freelance artist. Last night was a, was a pretty rare occasion. What? Oh, hi! Um... Yeah, sure. Um, I was actually just gonna call you. I wanted to talk to you about my next project. Sure, I like new things. Uh, yeah, I just, uh, finished up my blog. Um, I'll be on my way momentarily. Alright, bye. Can you believe that Rolling Stone actually gave Kong Skull Island three stars? Can you believe that? No, I can't either. Wow, you can believe anything, can't you? I guess, sure. So, tell me about that project you're doing. Oh, um, Mr. Fletcher called me earlier today. He said, uh, he said it's supposed to pay pretty well, so that's pretty cool. Um, all I have to do is paint a portrait of a public figure. Any public figure? Yeah, pretty much. That doesn't sound too hard then. No, but, I mean, you'd think that at least, but I can't for the life of me think of who to paint. I mean, it's supposed to be of someone who people used to love, but they've kind of forgotten about in the past. I got it. Shia LaBeouf. No. Randy Newman. No. Reese Witherspoon. No. Reese without her spoon. You're not helping. Oh, if you didn't want my help, you shouldn't have asked. Well, why don't you just go check out Google then and see how trendy people are on Google Trends. Sounds good. Oh wow, thank you for your help. You're such a, such a handsome man. Oh my god, you're too kind. Thanks. Good for 
for the day. Oh. And last night was a hard hit. Still not sure what went down. Still can't remember. As far as products go, I haven't had any ideas yet for my new one. Can't think of any celebrity off the top of my head that I would want to spend my time painting. A friend of mine suggested Google Trend. Heard about it before, but never used it. I learn something new every day, I guess. <sighs> Research or sleep? Sleep or make money? I'm sleeping when I'm dead. John Francis Fellay was an English-born actor from Manchester. Most well-known for his young guitarist role in The Amazing Duo Show. He's only 20 years old and raised parents to the big audience. It's gotta be a different one. It's gotta be more than one John Fellay. If you really wanted to talk about your feelings, you could have just called. I just need to show you something. Do you remember when you told me to go on Google Trends and do some research? Tell me you called me here just to look at your findings. Just look, alright? No! Oh, congratulations! You Googled yourself. No! Just look, I was the most Google name in all of England. I was like some actor who died in a car accident three years ago. No, no. This guy doesn't seem like he's you. You really think that he is? Uh, I. I didn't think so either at first, but I mean, all the data, all the information just links back to that one person. A lot of people look similar and can have the similar names. But look at this though, this is me. That's me in this picture. It just seems like some sort of big conspiracy. Like Nazis on the moon, pyramids on Mars. Well, I don't, I don't understand how you don't see it. I mean, I, yes, the same name maybe, but the same face too? <sighs> Maybe I'm blowing this out of proportion a little bit, but it's too much of a coincidence. Here's what I think. No more computer. We go outside. A little fresh air. Yeah, that's it. Maybe. Hey, make sure that you keep your health up. I don't want to go losing you. Alright, well, thanks. Well, thanks for coming over, man. What are friends for? Hey, uh, one thing, I, uh, I was supposed to get some pretty good money from this job, and I've been kind of looking to get out of here for a little bit. I was thinking about taking a vacation. If I went, would you want to go with me? Depends. I have a really dense work schedule right now. I try to work something out. It's all a matter of where you're going.
Oh, by the way, I think Luke put something in here last night. Still seem a little drunk. Speaking of Luke, did you hear about what happened to him? No. He's missing. He's missing? Yeah, I, I heard about it on the news last night. I mean, it was apparently a suspect in the shooting at the duet bar. You didn't hear about that? How the hell am I supposed to know what Luke does? I spend all my time at work. It's been all over the news. I don't watch much news. But on that note, I gotta get going. Stay healthy. Don't die yet. pretty quietly and even when I listen to music it's not even that loud. No no it's not music it's I just don't understand why you have to be so loud when you get home at like three in the morning. Like is it really necessary to slam every single door or I don't even know what you do but it's really loud. I didn't even leave my house yesterday what are you talking about? Then your roommate maybe? I don't know whoever they are they're really loud and they make a lot of noise. Sure looks like you though. And then last night you came home with this big bag from your trunk, and I don't know what it was, but it was... You're so... You're freaking me out, and I just thought I would let you know that you were thoroughly ruining my life. Wait, a bag? What are, you, yes. what are you talking about? This isn't funny, okay? Look... No, it's not funny. I'm losing sleep. Look, I'm sorry. I, I was... And then I tried to ignore it, but like five minutes later, I heard the door slamming noise again. Look, I'm sorry, all right? I was drunk last night. I don't remember what happened exactly. And I sleepwalk a lot, so I'll try and stop doing that. Good. Thank you. I'm John, by the way. Katie. Nice to finally meet you. Likewise. Hey, Mr. Fletcher, what's up? Oh, um, oh, I had, um, a list of names, actually, um, I was gonna narrow it down to one tomorrow. Yeah, it's, um, my mind's been a little preoccupied lately, it's been kind of a long week. Oh, um, j just a bad headache, that's all. Um, I have a question for you, um, have you ever seen me, like, on the news or anything, or... Maybe saw me before we met after art school? Oh, I, I, I was just curious, that's all, that's all. That's not good, Mr. Fletcher. Yeah. Good night. What the hell is going on? There. All right, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm calling the cops.
Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm good. They're still awake? Yeah, your noise was keeping me up. I figured you came home drunk and needed help. Although you look pretty sober to me. Oh. Sorry about the noise. Yeah, well, if you were really sorry, you'd stop. But seriously, I heard you screaming. Are you okay? Look, Katie, this is, this is my life, okay? I do what I want to do. I don't need you constantly checking in on me, okay? Sorry for caring. And keep it down, would you?
do you want? Look, Katie. Isn't I... it bad enough that you keep me up at night? Now I have to listen to you whine. Look, I'm sorry for last night, okay? No, no, no. It was my fault for checking up on you. Look, my life is just kind of a mess right now, and it just... It would mean a lot if we could stay friends right now, because I don't have that many. Who said we were friends? Look, my life is just... I don't know what's going on right now. Like, all the noises that you hear at night, the bag you saw me bring inside, I don't remember any of it. Why are you telling me this? Because I don't know where else to turn to. I have no family around here, and my only friend isn't answering me. I'm just lost. And that doesn't really matter, because it's none of your business. It's, none of you, it's not your problem, so... Just thought I'd apologize for snapping at you. It's okay. I can't believe I'm saying this, but do you want to come in? You look exhausted. Yeah, thanks. So you, you live alone too? Just for right now. My parents are in California while I stay here to work on my masters at UMaine. Huh. What's your major? Uh, criminal investigation. Huh, interesting. Well, maybe you could help me then. Help you with what? Oh, um, just the internet says I'm dead. Did you just say you were dead? Well, the internet says so. What? <laughs> Would you believe it if I told you that I died and came back to life? I did not invite you into my house and offer you food just so you could creep me out more. Oh, look, I... Look, this is just what's kind of creeping me out, too, is... Online, there's articles everywhere about how I apparently died in a car accident three years ago in England. Look, I, I can show you. Do you want proof? Alright, let's see some proof. Do you mind? Morning, did I sleep here last night? Yeah, you fell asleep while I was reading those articles. I didn't want to wake you because you were actually being quiet for once. I haven't gotten a full night's sleep in weeks. Well, thanks for lending me your couch. Yeah. And, uh, I don't want to be rude, but I have a class in 15 minutes, oh. and I am not leaving you in my house alone. Oh, sorry, let me uh, get out of your way for you. I didn't mean to sleep over last night. Sure. More beneficial for you than for me. I've slept on my couch before, it's not that comfortable. I'm not one to complain. Well, thanks for everything. Dinner was wonderful as well. Oh yeah, well, uh, chips are my specialty. Oh, wait, before you before you go. I printed these for you. I figured oh. looking at them on paper would be better than looking at them from the screen of a laptop. There are some really interesting articles out there. I hope they help you remember something. Well, thanks. Yeah. Well, have fun at your class today. Oh, yeah, thank you. You have a good day as well? Get some sleep, would you, and stop drinking. It's been one hell of a week for me. Everything happened so quickly, I just couldn't absorb it all. One day, I was an inspiring artist. Next, I was discovering that my actor doppelganger died in a car accident years ago. I don't know about... I don't know about the dying part. The accident could have been staged. I've seen movie magic before.
I try to think, but every time I, I start, I get so overwhelmed and then it's some sort of block and my mind just stops. There's something in there that doesn't really want me to think about it. Sometimes I think it is possible that I'm the actor in those pictures. Sometimes I think it was just a coincidence. An impossible coincidence, perhaps. If it was true, I still can't explain how I got there or why it happened. According to the newspapers, I was never involved in any scandals. I had a lot going for me. Could it be possible that it was a conspiracy? Did I have a secret life that the media didn't know about? What did I do to deserve such a fate? The articles mentioned a girlfriend. After some research about her, I concluded that she was beautiful. But I felt no connection with her at all. She didn't even look all that familiar. She was killed during a home invasion while I was filming my most recent movie, which was never finished, of course. It was the day before the accident occurred. Maybe we were killed by the same people. I also can't explain my, my frequent waking up in the middle of the night, or the cuts and bruises on my body every time I do so, or waking up in the driver's seat of my car without knowing how I got there, or the body in my trunk. Sleepwalking, maybe, but that seems too simple. I think I was kidnapped after the staged car accident, and my loss of sleep is somehow related to the kidnappers. But I have no real reason to believe any of that. Or any proof. <laughs> maybe Luke did put something in my drink. But whether I'm crazy or, or even onto something, I will sleep tonight. Just not like I usually do.
John, you're late. Mr. Fletcher. Show me where they are. I'm gonna go. Hurry up. Where? What are? What are you doing in my house? It's two in the morning. But you called me earlier. To get them. Did you remember? I didn't call you. Yes, you actually did. Are you out of your brain or something? I never called you. Don't lie to me. I'm, not, I'm actually not lying to you, but... I mean, the... The art projects. You told me to go here at night to get the project to sell them, remember? Explain this. This picture was taken in 2015. I met you three months ago. Um, I can't explain that. He told me to come here to get the bodies and get it out of here. So just let me go. Okay? I don't believe that's all you know. You're not even a real agent, are you? You just buy my paintings because it keeps me preoccupied. It distracts me from what's really going on. What did you put inside my head? Why do I keep waking up every night? All those things on the news, the dead bodies, I... I did that. Didn't I? Unfortunately, yes. But put that down. I'm just trying to help you, okay? Shut up! You're not trying to help me, you're ruining my life. You can put whatever you want inside my head, but I'll never be your weapon. Look, look, you don't need to use weapon for this. Just put that down, we can work this out. He's way stronger than you think, and then you cannot fight him at all. Give me a reason. It's too bad. Where are the bodies? In the trunk? Where are the other two? Looks like you figured everything out. What are you grinning for? What's going on? Tell me, who am I? Well, you can put the gun down because we both know you're not going to shoot me. Or you could just keep pulling at me and not get any answers. Okay. Everything you found out is true. Your acting career your accident, and your death. Everything. It's all real. A little bit of backstory for you. Your girlfriend of three years, who was so loyal to you, wasn't that loyal to you. She's been cheating on you, and you found out. Sad part is, is that you wanted to propose to her. That is. Luckily for us, you were depressed. You were desperate. You were weak-minded. Exactly what we were looking for. Don't lie to me. So here's the interesting part. You flew all the way to England. Boom. You were dead. Staging isn't too difficult nowadays, is it? We took you to a whole new country where no one would recognize you. Now you may be asking yourself, oh, how am I still alive? Well, what's more convincing? To the cops, human being, or a zombie. Personally, I choose both. One's the shell and one's the mind. The 
shell's the distraction, and mine is the weapon. And let me tell you, buddy, you're one hell of a distraction. Oh. Oh. When you woke up from that coma three months back, after the accident, your memory was wiped. You were helpless. So, that's when I met you in the hospital. Swooped in, made you think I was your friend. And, I was generous. Gave you a whole new life. Gave you a whole bunch of other friends, too. But, you went and killed them all. I already know that. Well, I think that, uh, Interpol should be here pretty soon. I mean, your fingerprint is everywhere by now. He's gone. You can come out now. Oh, shit. This has been more difficult than I thought. More things would have been accomplished if he wasn't in the way. Ugh, blame myself, mostly. I created him. Or maybe I'm giving myself too much credit. Maybe it was the accident. It only took me three months. I was learning. Previously, it had taken me 22 years. Luckily, I had the help of his girlfriend. Why didn't I just do this from the beginning? If you approach a stranger and tell them that they're already dead, they might give you an odd look and assume that you're crazy. So instead, I gave him a life. I gave him a house with neighbors and even a laptop with the internet. But that phase is over. I want him to suffer now. He needs to know what betrayal feels like. I want to rip him apart, piece by piece. That's when I'll be able to come back, when he finally breaks. How was it possible? Well, by using those two idiots, Brian and Fletcher, of course. They were cops. They worked for Interpol. I suspected that they had since I first met them. They are no better than my girlfriend. Only one of them was really supposed to die tonight. But casualties are never planned, I suppose. It would have been perfect, too. I could have tested them and put them to sleep in one convenient event. One followed my plan, but he wanted to kill him. The other didn't follow my plan at all and actually wanted to kill me. <laughs> if I'm arrested, I will not be the one behind bars. You know that. But they didn't. That's where their plan was flawed. It was horribly easy for me to carry out such a plan. Humans are chronically ignorant, one day worshipping us, and the next day forgetting about our existence. Humans are always so happy all the time. They never think about people like me, or him. Most of them don't know true pain. Most of them may never experience true anger or betrayal. Most of them have never had an abusive parent or a cheating girlfriend. They just don't understand. But now, they will. Yes, I know what time it is we need to talk. I'm not making any noise. But that's not what I need to talk to you about. Look, can we do this another time? I'm a little busy right now. It's four in the morning. What could you possibly be working on? The project I need to finish. No, we need to talk right now. Come in. So you want some tea or something? No, that's okay. I don't drink tea. I need to ask you something. Alright. Um, have you looked at those pages that I printed out for you yet? Yeah, it's nothing special really. I mean, in some of the shots, the angles look like the actor. Looks just like me, but it's not much. Wait, so you're not freaking out about this anymore? No. I've moved on. Well, I did some more research and I found something that I think you should hear. Alright. Okay. So, at... Within a week of every single photo, a person went missing in the exact same place where your doppelganger was spotted. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting coincidence. Yeah. Is that all you came to tell me? Um, well, the 
there's more. But, um, you know, I would really love some tea. Is that offer still on the table? Sure. Let me just go make sure I still have some. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere? You don't trust me? No, I don't trust you. You're not John, who are you? I am John. 